You know, the, the, the competition at quarterback is, is something that, uh, you know, it, it started, it started back in January when everybody got here, but you could really, you could really see it today. You could really feel it. And, and the one thing I liked between Jordan, Lucas and Jalen, they were all cheering for each other and all rooting for each other. I mean, I, Lucas, Lucas made a heck of a run and, and behind me, first thing I hear is Jordan and Jalen saying, go Luke, go Luke, great run, great cut. You know, and then and then Jordan made a really good throw, and and I hear Lucas behind me saying that that a kid for way to get it, and those are the things that you know, that that's what makes a team. You know, when your quarterback room is tight, your team is tight, and, and although it's a competition, it's competitive. I, I really like the way these guys are supporting one another as a teammates. Jordan Brookshire. So we'll start with Jordan. Okay, Jordan finished out the year. Uh, Jordan is a tough competitor. And the amount of respect I have for Jordan coming through last year, I mean, you, you really see in a, in, a, in a day and an age where, you know, it's not common for people to stick through and, and push and compete. You really saw that in Jordan. And Jordan got his chance, and he went in there, and he played tough. And he's got a lot of energy, and I think he's got a lot of respect on the team. And, and the one thing we're looking for Jordan is to process faster and now make better better decisions and quicker decisions. That's things you saw during the year where you know he didn't process and the ball didn't come out cleanly on time at, uh, uh, during, during the game at times. So those are things that we're working with him on and that he's working hard on getting that ball out and throwing the ball faster and processing faster. But from a, but from a toughness and a competitive standpoint, I mean, just uh, everything, everything that I hope my boys, when they get in that position and grow up and, and, and hopefully are playing that they have. Uh, Lucas Johnson is is obviously you saw it in the first half in Nevada uh, before he got hurt again, and you saw it at the end of Hawaii. Lucas Johnson is is a spectacular athlete, can run it and throw it, and you saw you saw that today, you know. And, and with Lucas now, it's 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 pushing through, and, and and it's really I think he's and I asked him the other day. I said, Have you ever been in better shape than than you're in right now? And he said, No. He's about 220 pounds. Uh, you know, he's he's he, he looks good. He feels good, but now we got to. He's got to get himself through, and we got to get him through because when he's healthy and he's on the field, he's ultra talented, and, and you guys have seen that. You know, Jalen. Jalen is somebody that comes in with, with with a with a lot of skill. You know, obviously he was very highly recruited. You can watch his high school film. You can see why he's very well thought of coming out of very competitive high school in in, in Texas, uh, and, and and it's all there. You know, we're 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 kind of knocking three years of rust off of Jalen right now. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it was impressive today. He's, 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 he's really done a great job of being a teammate, being a part of the team, and really getting to know the team and letting the team get to know him, which is kind of the first step. And then you saw today some very natural abilities, some very natural instincts come out. You know, he pulled one and ran it. He made a couple nice throws in there, sat in the pocket well. You know, it's just going to be a work in progress because we're, we're just working three years of rust off of him. So, you know, I, I think for the first time, you know, since I've been here, we have three quarterbacks that are highly competitive, but yet their skill sets are very similar that we can stay similar throughout the course of the offense. You know, the one thing with all three of them, they love football. And, 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 and I, I think that's something that's lost in today's game is, is really just truly having a passion to go out and compete and play, especially at the quarterback position. And, and I think that's helped catch Jalen up very quickly. Um, you know, I don't, I don't see there being a big gap to be honest with you. I mean, they each got eight team reps today. They each got nine seven-on-seven seven reps. And I didn't see a very big um, gap between either one of the three, which is encouraging because we're going to need all three. You know, and, and, and we're going to need everybody that's a part of our team. You know, we, we, we've proven this, you know, the, the expectations for the position throughout the course of the entire team, and, and we're going to need everybody.